In the Swami constituency in the Ashanti region, tension is brewing between the incumbent MP and some persons seeking to contest him. Oseche Mensa Bonsu, who is also the majority leader in parliament, has also questioned the relevance of some elders of the party in the region, accusing them of orchestrating to unseat him. Here's a report by Komla Kluche. An angered Shuame MP and majority leader who is displeased about some persons trying to contest him. You mentioned a certain John Dark uh, who wants to have some relevance to himself. He contested me the other time and um, he had, I think, he garnered about 56 votes. I don't know why he's making noise. As he said, empty barrels make the, the most noise. I'm concentrating on what I need to do in parliament for the party and for parliament as an institution. The party's parliamentary primary is heating up amidst accusations. Some four persons have made intentions to unseat the Swami MP, who is also the majority leader in parliament. I'm talking about the noise that he's making. The previous time he said something was going to happen, he was going to change the, the uh, landscape of the constituency. And I'll tell you, in spite of the noise that went on those days, there were four contestants. What votes the three of them garnered was not even half of what I garnered. And as I said, he plays a distant third. Now he goes about making some noise again. Let him continue. The tough-talking majority leader took on a national council member of the party and former head of the national school feeding program, Dr. Mwaku Tufo. I'm told um, one other person, one Dr. Mwaku Tufo, has also joined the free and is... Uh, but that is, is a lot. It doesn't have any relevance in this party. I must make bold on this. Whenever there is an election, then he spares himself to Ashanti region and pretends that he is in control of the region. What does he do for the party? What does he do for the government? It's only when elections are due, whether parliamentary, the DCs, the presidential, then he goes there skirmishing around as if he holds the keys to a chance yeah. But in a response, Dr. Mwaku Tufo described his outburst as shocking. You look at me as an elderly member on the street. I'm a national council member from Ashanti region, current member of a national council. Does that make me just an ordinary riffraff that comes during election time and makes some noise? There's nobody in this party who is above the law or the democratic principles of this party. He has denied the accusations of masterminding efforts at unseating the Swami MP. This is with utmost disrespect because if he's not aware, and he must be, if he's truly an MP from Ashanti region, he must know his members in the National Council. A National Council is the highest position you can occupy within the party. Uh, that is authoritative. I thought he was a friend. And I am really shocked. I don't want to go to town too much, but I will dwell on the issues at stake. Dr. Mwakutufo has advised the incumbent MP seeking re-election to negotiate with other aspirants trying to contest them. I'm too matured and smart to just ignore him. Let him go. If that is how he respects uh, people and all that, I'm not going to make, and I'm mindful of what our opponents may be listening to now. So that is why I have been very patient. I'm normally not evasive at all. I could have taken him to the cleaners. I'll deal with him directly myself. Komla Kluche, TV3 News, Accra.